the research project hosts events where people learn how to use the electronics they have for longer. Um, we teach repair, um, but we're also encouraging people to rethink their relationship with electronics and electricals. One of the things we see is that people feel very frustrated by their relationship with technology. They feel that they're trapped, that they have no choices, and that really changes when you when you learn how to take something apart, when you when you think about um, what's a good what's a good product. I think if you're a little bit fed up with a current um, consumerist model that we have in the world. If you want to kind of start changing something little by little, I think it's a really great way to get involved um, on the ground. We were inspired by different practices happening elsewhere in the world, particularly how people in countries like Kenya, or India or Cuba would never think to throw away things. They would repair them and give them a second lease of life. So we got started um, in the community. We decided that we could just help each other. Um, we started running community events once a month and we noticed there are a lot of people who want to help other people and a lot of people who needed help. We are today here at a restart party um, in London Fields, so it's an outdoors one which is always particularly fun. We just welcome members of the public to bring their broken electronics and electrical items and we get them, give them support uh, to repair their stuff, so they get support by um, experienced volunteer repairers. Fixing is just a way, it's a hands-on way of getting at some much deeper issues. Um, the longer we use something, the less, the, the less impact it has. Fixing is a way of getting at these deeper issues, but it's a hands-on way and it's a fun way. So our approach is have people reflect, change their behavior, but you know, not hit them over the head with it, actually give them something fun to do. It's really empowering people um, to see you know, people that arrive not knowing much, not knowing what to do with the device and figuring out how they work and uh, learning uh, how to open the device. Uh, how to find uh, faults, how to fix them. It's quite satisfying taking something apart and mending it for somebody, um, showing them how to mend things themselves, how to take things apart, and, and often how simple things are. Obviously there is the environmental impact of preventing so much electronic waste from becoming such through our events, our restart parties. So far, just counting the North and South London events, we've prevented 1.4 tonnes of electronic waste, which might sound like a small amount, but actually it shows that there is a massive potential to do so much more. Definitely what we love most about it is the community aspect. We have a community of volunteers, we have people in the community who really value it and love it and look forward to it. We've normally been told that repair skills are no longer available in our communities. In fact, what we discover is that they're very much available, just hidden. You get to meet other people with sim similar um, minds. And, and actually a lot of the people that, that do this sort of work do it really quietly at home. So it's quite good to bump into other people who are really keen on taking things apart and mending them. I find it really lovely to see how people share their skills. You simply get people who normally don't really talk to each other um, yeah, re-engage over those uh, electronics. To also understand the technology better and so we get some control over it instead of being sort of controlled by, uh, by these black boxes running our lives.